Hey guys, so today we are going to be diving back into the E Nail Couture 123 Go full cover gel tips. I told you guys to like the video if you wanted me to do the stiletto ones as well, and you guys did. So that's what we're going to do today, as well as create a Valentine's Day set. So as you can see, I do have a set of the coffin shape ones on right now. So I'm gonna take these off, and I figured I'd just show you guys how I take these off super quickly while I'm at it because why not? So first and foremost you got to chop off the length I use just a old pair of like cuticle clippers you don't want to use a nice pair because they will dull out really quickly and they won't be sharp for your cuticles anymore which you don't want so don't use a nice pair use a pair that's gonna be dedicated to like getting stones off and chopping your nails off and stuff like that you can also you just use a regular pair of nail cutters but I just have these. All right, now I have chopped off the length on those. So there's a couple ways you could take these off if you don't have an electric file. You can just totally rough up the top of the surface and then soak them off. It'll take a little bit longer or you can file them off completely or you can do sort of both. I'm gonna do both so I'm going to file off as much of this gel as I can and then I will soak off the rest. So after I have taken off as much gel as I can with the e-file, I am going to soak my nails in acetone. And usually the soaking off process, so how long you have to leave your hand in the acetone, is usually anywhere from like 10 to 30 minutes depending on how thick the gel is. So while I'm soaking them off, I'm gonna show you guys my uh, camp on Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. They're doing a whole Alice in Wonderland Queen of Hearts theme. And I thought that that theme would be so fun to do in the form of a Valentine's Day nail set. So my nails today are going to be sort of inspired by Queen of Hearts. And I'm gonna try to do some of this pattern right here, but in black and white and do some like mismatching red and black hearts and stuff like that. And if you like Animal Crossing in general, when New Horizons comes out, I am going to be streaming it on Twitch. So I will leave my Twitch down below if you want to start following me there to get notified and stuff when I do start streaming. But yeah, this is what my nails are going to be inspired by today. Okay, and then as you can see, my nails are super dry and crusty because of the acetone. But before I go and wash them off and stuff like that, I am going to just do the cuticles ever so lightly, really, really lightly using this little bit. So I went and washed my hands and now my nails are all bare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rough them up and just get any shine off. So now what we're gonna wanna do is size the tips because we have to etch the inside of these so they stick. Perfect. Next, I'm going to just put some dehydrator on my nails, then some primer. I'm just using the Aprey one as always. Then I'm gonna use the Aprey Extend Gel and I'm gonna put that over every single one of my nails just to make it easy and let's do this really quick. Anyway, so I tried to do this last week. I don't know if I have any footage of my failed attempt but I'm taking a totally different approach today. <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes I'm 
doing a set and I can get halfway through, three quarters through. Sometimes I finish a set and I hate it and I never post it and I can't say that doesn't happen quite a bit. So I'm just covering my entire nail with this Prey Gel. This stuff is fairly thick, so you should only need one coat. Then I'm gonna cure that. All right, so now it's time to put the nails on. So what I'm gonna do is grab some of my Extend Gel and I'm just going to put a thin layer over everywhere where my nail is going to meet. And then I'll put a little bit extra on the bottom. With these tips, you really do not need that much extra gel because there isn't quite as much empty room right here. So when I do this, what I do now is I just turn on my light. The gel does not cure that quickly, so don't worry about it. And I'll hold my hand here, and then I'll put it on like this, and then hold it, and then I kind of hold it outside of the light as much as I can until it's done a flash cure and I don't have to hold it down anymore. And this can take quite a little bit of time sometimes. So I got an air bubble, so I am going to put a layer of gel on the back here because a lot of you had asked me if these tips had bent at all and the ones that I had tried, these coffin ones right here, they do not bend at all, but I did try these stiletto ones at a different point in time, not on camera, and they did bend a little bit after a while. So to give it some extra strength, I am going to put gel on the back here. Okay, so same deal with this one, just everywhere that it's going to touch and then a little bit extra on the bottom, but not too much. Lamp. So I'm just going to quickly go through and do the rest of these. Once you've seen one, you've kind of seen it, you know, quite a few times, I feel like you know, the process never changes, so I don't feel like I need to explain it every single time. So I'm just going to do this and then we'll get to the fun part. Okay, so then I popped all those on and now I'm just going to put that little bit of extra gel on the bottom of each one. And then because the extend gel is sticky, I'm gonna put a no wipe top coat on the top of where I put the extend gel. Otherwise it's going to end up super sticky and that's not a good time. Okay, so now I have all of those on. I am going to buff out the top layer so that we can get some gel to stick to all these. All right, so I got all those buffed out. So as far as all the gel polishes I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using this black one from McCart, this white one from McCart, and this red from Candy Co. This red is sparkly, but it's the only red I have, <laughs> actually. I'm gonna first start off with the ones that I want black. And this one. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that in. This one kind of looks almost a little pink, but hopefully we can build it up to look more red. And then I'm also going to do the thumb red. I'm gonna do second coats just because I don't want it to be see-through at all. And I'm gonna do that on both of these. I'm trying to hold my hand in a way that you guys can see. I don't know why my camera's not wanting to focus if I put it on the table, but you know. What are all these little things in this? I have no idea where that just like suddenly came from. And then last but not least, I'm gonna grab this white and I'm just going to put it on this one finger. This white is really opaque, so I don't really need two coats of it. That's why I left it last. I wanted to do a set like this because I wanted to change it up a little bit from the common like Valentine's Day colors aside from just like the pink and red. So because I actually planned this set out, I actually went out and got real Swarovski crystals. I wouldn't do this for every single set because that would get really expensive, but I thought that we would make this set really, really cool. So we're going to start on the checkerboard nail. So I originally had tried to paint it from hand and it looked really, really, really bad. 
But then I realized I have this almost checkered foil right here so conveniently that is just going to be perfect. So I'm gonna take my foil glue and put a layer of that over this nail right here and then make sure you cure it for a full 60 seconds. Then I cut a little piece off and I'm gonna try to line it up as best as I can for how I want it. Is it gonna be long enough? Ooh, we're gonna have to do it this way. All right, and then I'm gonna just smush that down and I'm gonna really take my time making sure that every single little area is smushed down because with this sort of design, you can really, really tell when it wasn't. And here we go. It's not too bad. Could I think it could have been better for sure. Not bad though. So next I'm going to do the thing where you do half a heart on this side and half heart on this side and they sort of like meet up. So to do that, I'm going to line out where I want the rhinestones with this gel. So I'm gonna put my fingers together and make a little heart outline like so and try to line it up. that side. I'm going to take this matte gel top coat and I'm gonna put it over the top because I don't want to put the top coat on afterwards since these are the real crystals. So that kind of took away a little bit of where I laid out for that gel, but that's fine. And then now I'm gonna take these red rhinestones, hopefully if I can pick them up. Probably should have done this one at a time, but it's okay. I believe I first saw this heart concept by Vanessa's Nails on Instagram. That's the furthest I can think back to seeing someone do this kind of design with the hearts. I know tons and tons of people have done it by now, but that's just where I first saw it. All right, so here we go. There's those. I'm gonna cure these now. Next, I'm just gonna grab some of this white and I'm just gonna dab some of it onto this little piece of paper here. Just whatever scraps. And I'm gonna draw a heart on this nail using a dotting tool. Okay, so it turned out a little bit bigger than I thought, but it's still probably the best that I'm gonna be able to do. And then I'm actually going to top coat everything now with a matte top coat, but we're not done. For this white one, I think I'm going to marble it. I'm gonna take this Blooming Nail Gel. I don't know why you call it nail gel. It's like an ink. And I'm gonna just run that kind of like so. Then I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol and start thinning it out a bit. So I do want this to be like a pretty heavy marble, not like a really light marble. So I'm not going to touch it too, too much more. I want that sort of like really distinct pattern there. Then I'm gonna top coat that with the matte gel polish. And then I wasn't planning on doing anything else with this one, but I do think I want to rhinestone the outside of it. Just cause like, I don't know, I think it'll look a lot better. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna try to fill in the inside with the matte color, just cause I feel like I know you can see the gel I wasn't initially planning on putting rhinestones on, otherwise I would have tried to plan for that. But you know, things change, it happens. And then the E-Nail Couture matte top coat does need to be wiped, otherwise it will be sticky. And then last but not least, just some cuticle oil. So here are my Queen of Hearts inspired nails. I hope you guys like this video. 
Sorry if it was a little bit of a mess. I'm not super, super creative, so doing stuff like this is a lot harder for me. It's a lot easier for me to like test products, but doing something like creative and designing a set is a lot more difficult for me personally. So please do make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed this. Here's some more close-ups. Obviously the heart doesn't look as good if it's not like lined up perfectly. I think the marble one looks pretty nice. I really wish this one wasn't so patchy, but you know, if you're like moving your finger, you can't tell. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time, bye.